got the bathroom. Not too sure how to work the shower yet, but uh, I don't know, it has something to do with this thing. I don't know. So I'm here, made it home safe, home, Germany, I'm freaking out right now, what the hell am I doing here, um, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm like, wow, this is real, this is real. So, chilling here, waiting for my bag. The belt stopped. All the bags are gone. Mine didn't come. Shit. Uh, but that's why I'm prepared. I brought my cleats on my carry-on. If you're traveling as an athlete, bring your equipment on your carry-on. Because you can't trust the other people with your bags, clearly. Um, so now, waited about 20 minutes, waiting another 5-10 for some guy in a suit to find my bag. Fun! <laughs> Alright, cool. Peace. Alright, so day one, we got to the player house. Um, all settled in. Show you around. Got the bed. Closet. Empty your crib style. It's actually a really nice place. Uh, there's like three rooms with different beds in there. Got the bathroom. Not too sure how to work the shower yet, but uh, I don't know, it has something to do with this thing. I don't know. Uh, pretty sweet though. And we got the main living area. One who came to bring the, uh, the, the first one, the one with the black hair, right? Yeah, the one was talking English. Yeah, yeah. Kitchen. Got Fergie. Yeah. Rolling out. Cool. Nice place. Kitchen. Already loaded up with food. Um, got hooked up with lots of food. And we actually just went to Aldi. It's like a five, maybe ten minute walk. Picked up some greens, got some chocolate, hanging out. Here we go. So that's the, the house, and the field is right out the window, but it's pretty dark out there, so I'll show that another day. Cool. Peace. German chocolate. Peace. Heading out to the city center for the first time. I'm gonna take the metro. Got the logo in the background, club, uh, going with the boys, see how it goes, take the tram, <laughs> yeah, room let's do it. Place kind of nice. Look at that. Okay. So this is the view from our house, the player house. We got field one over there. Got some uh, beach soccer courts there, and an outdoor futsal court. Can't see it. We've got our practice field right here and yup you guessed it that is dirt it's a dirt field um, reminds me a lot of playing in Brazil I'm here with my boys Let's get some grub got the pho Jared's got the, the sweet and sour sauce the sous sour sousa 6B 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 I got some kind of meat over here I don't know what this shit is 
It might be cat. It might be cat. Could be dog. Could be dog. Good stuff. Good day. It's Friday morning. I had a great night's sleep. Uh, Got a good meditation in this morning peacefully. Uh, It's good. I'm excited for today. Uh, We have an 11 v 11 training session and then another week next week and then we start back into the season. Uh, So it's looking like a good time to solidify a spot in the squad. So I'm ready for that. Um, this past week, things that went well, definitely training wise, uh, you know, from Tuesday, Wednesday to Thursday training, I think I've gotten more comfortable, uh, especially with Thursday training, uh, I felt a lot better, uh, got, I don't know, just my movement and touch was a lot better. And uh, even though I only slept I don't know, max four hours last night. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, it's really cool that the coach is Brazilian, so I get to speak Portuguese with him. Um, at least we have a bit of a connection there, and especially with him being a playing coach, which sounds funny, but uh, it, it's, it's a lot simpler. It's, it's, a, I don't know, it's not as big of a deal as I thought. Uh, he's, he's an amazing player. He's probably in his thirties and yeah, he played like second division in, uh, Germany. So he's, he's quality and it's going to be awesome playing with him, playing off of him. Really smart player. Um, I'm going to do what I can to learn as much as I can from him. Uh, so that's exciting. That's the end of week number one. Training went really well. And uh, what better to do than take an ice bath after a long week? Sunday morning, enjoying a cup of tea, chilling with the boys. It's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Cheers. So I found out the hard way that uh, the weights here are in kilos, not pounds. So I was like, hey, let me just uh, get you know some 24s a little light thing. No, no, not light, not light. Damn. Uh Uh-oh. Practice field's flooded today. Game field looks good, though. So shit is going wild in our house. Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. Crazy people. What you doing, Archie? Yeah, what's your name? Chilling. Chilling, right? Chilling, man. 919. Got the house right there. 919-696-3. For a jet lag update, I got off the plane, uh, went to Andy's for a bit, and he kind of threw me in a room, and he was like, sleep, sleep, even though I didn't want to. I slept a couple hours, which was fine. Uh, It's been a little rough tossing and turning at night, but... I'll uh, I'll stay on top of that and really focus on getting to sleep earlier. I expect to train well, get better into my like into my routine, pick up on my disciplines where I left off. Um, you know, just sticking to the fundamentals. I I know the stuff. Schedule it in and get it done.
So the quote of the day comes from Walt Disney, and it's, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. So, got to work on that virtue of courage, get your focus, know what you want to do, because you can. I mean, we have all the ability, all the energy stored up inside us. We just have to access it. What better way than to have, like, just courage, have that heart to go for it. And that's all I got. High five.